Today on the 24th of July 2020, I came across a video that had been recently uploaded to YouTube, that featured Mark Steele and several other people on a panel, the subject was Corrupt UK. Let's take a closer look at each guest and see how deep the rabbit hole goes. First off we have Mark Steele, and if you have been following my channel, you will know exactly what Mark Steele is all about. Mark Steele is a lying fraudster, and sees himself as the king of the anti-5G movement. But in reality he is a cowardly lion that won't debate MC Toon on 5G. Mark Steele has convinced his gullible followers that he is a weapons expert and the world number one expert on 5G. But the reality is Mark Steele is far from a weapons expert and his 8 year prison sentence for shooting an innocent girl in 1993 confirms this. Mark Steele also claims streetlights are weapons systems but his tear down videos of streetlights is just laughable to anyone with the slightest bit of electrical knowledge. Mark Steele, also claims, he won a court case fighting 5G, but the reality is the Mark Steele was the defendant in the case and was actually convicted of threatening Gates head counselors. And was fined 180 pounds. The judge presiding over the hearing was Deputy District Judge Zoe Passfield, who warned Steele that the trial wasn't a platform to rant about 5G and told him, the vast majority of your defense bundle is in fact inadmissible evidence. The court case was never about 5G, but that didn't stop Mark Steele collecting thousands of pounds off his gullible followers. Who threw money at Mark Steele thinking he was their savior? Mark Steele also claims that the coronavirus is caused by 5G and is a plan by the cabal to depopulate the planet. Mark Steele says a lot of things all of which actually contradicts what real science actually says. Basically Mark Steele is a 5G, fear-mongering money-grabbing, lying clown. Next we take a look at, Naomi and Natalie, Natalie claims to be a targeted individual, who is part of a social engineering experiment, where she is constantly monitored, by government operatives, both higher and lower levels, the police, citizen informants, local council, and she even is convinced, her neighbors are involved, in targeting her. Which Natalie calls, gang stalking. Natalie also claims to get harassed electronically, but what is more ironic is that Natalie uses the technology she opposes, to spread her story, which has also been published as a book, which when I looked, I was surprised to see that Natalie's book was not labeled as fiction. And the description read as follows. An eye-opening, factual account of horrific human rights violations happening now. A covered, evil, social engineering program that is now a global pandemic. Tracked, traced, and monitored, this was only the beginning of a struggle for survival in an ordeal that continues to this day. A victim of a multifaceted program that assaults the senses in ways never known, organized stalking, remote neural monitoring, psychological warfare, telephone bugging, implantation, break-ins, criminal damage and verbal abuse along with physical abuses including heart manipulation, brainwave interference, electric shocks, vibrations and manipulation of the central nervous system all via remote. Next we move on to Naomi, Naomi claims to be a targeted individual and she also claims to give a voice to targeted individuals, by giving them a platform on YouTube, and wants hers and others voices to be heard by mainstream media. Naomi not only claims to be a targeted individual herself, she also claims she receives targeted racial harassment because of her deep held beliefs. Which she claims involves false rumors, slander, gaslighting, and electronic harassment. Naomi also claims to know a black African-American male who was implanted with microchips, along with his wife and children, who she claims when microchipped people have been x-rayed, you can see the wires going from the back of his neck into his head. Naomi is also an anti-vaxxer, who thinks vaccinations will contain nanotechnology to microchip people, and she even claims that black people are more targeted than white people. But the craziness don't stop there, Naomi also claims that 5G, reacts with the human body and causes blackouts, I wonder if Naomi is confusing G-Force with 5G technology. Next we move on to taking a look at, Daniel, Daniel don't buy into Mark Steele's 5G crap. Daniel claims he had his awakening, after an operation 5 years ago his interests are common law and he claims to help people to fight the satanic system. Daniel also claims that any official document is not actually written in English, and is a mixture of other languages coerced by the devil. 
Daniel also attends court cases of his friends and claims to help people fight the system and sees himself as a bit of a lawyer, but in reality he is just a government and authority agitator who tries to use fictional laws and wants all of those at the top, dead for treasonous acts. But the craziness don't stop there Daniel also claims the British government is owned by an American law firm. Next we are going to look at Andrew Devine. Mr. Devine was born in the UK and now lives in Greece. He is a major scam artist who thinks the flag behind him gives him some special divine rights. But in reality it's just an old maritime flag which was issued to New Zealand by the British, to guarantee safe passage for merchant ships. One of Andrew Devine's recent scams was the King's Flag scam, where his plan was to overthrow the British monarchy, and sold shares for £25 for his business venture, buy one get one free. Confirmation of ID was by phone number and the payments for the shares was paid by donations, yes you heard me right through donations. His main target for his scam was vulnerable elderly, British ex, veterans. Andrew Devine is also involved with some very unsavory characters, scammers, and hoax pushers. There are some great channels that expose Andrew Devine, and his scams and all of his associates, I will leave links in the description. Next we are going to take a look at Alfred who claims to be a futurist, and also claims he went to Stanford Research Institute, Alfred also claims that Dutch Crown hold human hunting on their private estates, and he also claims when he visited the Pentagon, he was targeted with electromagnetic weapons which made him into a targeted individual. Alfred also thinks coronavirus is a pandemic by the Rockefeller Foundation and Bill Gates for global domination and depopulation. Alfred also claims 5G is an advanced weapon that causes the coronavirus and all of his evidence for his wild claims are in PowerPoint presentations, so they must be true. LOL. Last of all we have Seven, aka, Charlie Seven, if there was a championship for talking nonsensical crap for hours and hours Seven, would win gold, silver and bronze, all at the same time. Seven has made lots of ludicrous claims over the years, none of which actually check out. Seven also claims to be a targeted individual, but she sees herself as the forerunner to bring people the truth, but everything she says is non-factual fear-mongering crap. Seven has been on the panel many times for ITNJ, International Tribunal for Natural Justice, which is a sham organization of crackpot conspiracy theorists and fake experts and so-called doctors, and is heavily involved with the spread of dangerous misinformation about 5G, the coronavirus and vaccinations. Danny Jones from Hoax Police has done some great research exposing Seven, aka Charlie Seven, on his website. I will leave links in the description. After taking a look at the people and the beliefs and views on this panel, I can clearly say that Mark Steele and the likes of Seven, are not only affecting the minds of the vulnerable with their fear-mongering crap about 5G, the coronavirus and vaccinations, they are also finding and exploiting, those with serious mental health problems, by bringing them onto a panel to push even more fear and propaganda to their gullible followers. Keep safe. Keep well. And. Don't fall down the 5G conspiracy theorists rabbit hole. It's way deeper than we ever thought.